From morning until evening, they study Torah at Yeshiva Chesder Yerucham in Israel's Negev Desert, pausing in the afternoon to pray, including for Israeli troops fighting in Gaza. At this seminary for young men, eight students have already been killed in the Israel-Hamas war. How is this yeshiva dealing with such profound loss? We're, we're never ready for something like this to happen. The vast majority of ultra-Orthodox Jews do not serve in the IDF, but many modern Orthodox do. And at this yeshiva, 95% of students are drafted into combat units. Judaism is a religion that believes in life. But we also uh, know that sometimes we have to pay the ultimate price for um, uh, our people, uh, our nation. Today, a student now in the IDF comes for a visit, treated like a hero by friends like Yehuda Korn, who is 19. In a few months, he'll be drafted too. It is my duty and obligation as a observant Jew. Yehuda shows the empty seat next to his in the yeshiva study hall, where 19-year-old Ari Eliyahu once sat. On October 7th, Ariel was in a tank near Gaza, hit by a missile at the start of a war that has been devastating for Palestinians and Israelis. Does this make you feel like you could be next? Try not to think about that, because uh, I could be, but... Um, but it, it motivates me more. In Mitzpe Yericho, a settlement in the occupied West Bank, Ariel's father, a rabbi, says his family sees serving in Israel's military as a religious duty. So for us, this is the way to live the, reli the real religious life. He says he saw an awakening in his son as he served his nation. All the special things that he had inside flourish in a beautiful way. And this is how we will remember him. If you ask me if I would uh, do it again, I, yeah, I would send him again and because this is our land and, yeah, this is what we have to do. Josh Letterman, NBC News, Yerucham, Israel.